Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. So today I actually wanted to do a uh, video on how I actually got rid of cigarette uh, smell from my vintage Louis Vuitton pochette. Yes, that is correct. I got rid of the smell of cigarette. Thank you Lord Baby Jesus. <laughs> so um, yeah, so let me just show you guys how I got rid of it. I before before I show you what I used let me show you the other thing let me ex explain the other thing that I used I did the coffee grains in here I did cotton balls with vinegar I did um, dryer sheets I sprayed something with perfume and I shoved it in here that didn't work I did all of it and none of it seemed to help so I was going on Louis Vuitton uh, blog websites. I just had to, you know, how to get rid of cigarette smell from bag. And I literally, I felt like I went through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blogs and nobody had an answer to it. So then I decided to just like erase the search um, bar and I just typed in how to get rid of cigarette smell. And somehow, I don't know how, I ended up in this like pothead page. So, um, with people saying that they actually used this, which is, I believe it's pronounced Oxium. So, they suggested to use this if they wanted to get rid of cigarette smell from inside of the vehicle. So, liter literally every single person that was in there replying to that person that, that suggested this said that they used it and it actually worked. Not only with weed, because obviously it was a weed pothead um, blog. Um, but, um, you know, regular cigarette smell. So I was like, you know what? I literally tried everything else. Might as well just give it a try. So I actually, um, was going to go buy it from Walmart, but they didn't have it in store and I was desperate and I was wanting to wear this already. So I found that they had it at AutoZone. So I went down there to AutoZone and I bought this and I think it was only like 10 bucks, give or take around 10, 11, 12 dollars, which I mean, it's not bad. And um, so I bought it and I bought the original scent. There's a there's different smells to this. This one smells kind of more lemony. The other one I think was orange. Like an orange peel type of scent. So I just decided to go with the original. Um, just because that's what they suggested on there. So I didn't want to you know risk it or anything. So I went and bought it that same day that I read the review. I, um, I sprayed it. Well I read the back of the... Of the you know the container and the box and the instructions and it actually says to be careful when you spray this with your surroundings because what did it say I forgot what it said um, it says do not spray directly on people pets beverages food preparation areas and painted or varnished surfaces um, just because it's such a strong um, spritzer you'll see once you buy this hopefully you guys buy this um but it's just you know doing it kind of far away but since you know i didn't know since obviously i don't know what would happen if i got this on the canvas i was like yeah i'm not gonna do that so i say i i would say i did it about mm, this far just because i was paranoid and so i sprayed it just it's really strong it's really strong and there's a, a lot of um, spray that comes out so I just did like a quick tsh. and so then after that I just closed it up and then I actually bought um well I have these I got one of my uh, freezer bags you know just regular freezer bags from anywhere this is from Target and I just did that and I closed it up and what I did I just put it off in a corner somewhere away from everything just in case if the cigarette smell didn't go away I didn't want that smell to um, attach to anything around it because you know cigarette smell kind of like everything starts smelling like it so then I just left it off uh, somewhere in the corner and forgot about it for a week I opened it up and I noticed it didn't smell like it so just because you know I wanted to make sure that I got rid of all the smell I did it again I sprayed it again and I put it back in the in the bag I put it away I just left it there for another week and I um, opened it up and sure enough it's gone now it just has this has a really strong scent and I'm assuming just because I had it uh, closed off the scent is still really really strong on the on the bag but that's all you can smell 
the only thing you can smell is this stuff and it has like a lemony scent to it and besides that you cannot smell any um cigarette smell i even had my husband um smell this just to make sure i wasn't crazy and that it actually got rid of it and yeah he said he don't think he could smell he said it had a weird smell but not cigarette smell which i'm assuming is the the spray and yeah guys i honestly wanted to show you this just because i know for a fact you know i looked everywhere and even on um on youtube anywhere everywhere online and no one not one single person has uh actually brought this up so i was like you know what i want to help everyone out that has the same issue even if you guys want to try it out with um i know some people complain their bags smell like mothballs i believe so i mean maybe you can try this and maybe it'll get rid of that um because this isn't just um an air sanitizer it's supposed to you know obviously kills off all bad bacteria so i'm hoping maybe, maybe that'll work out for you guys if you guys want to try it out so yeah i just wanted to show you guys how i got rid of the cigarette smell and now i can finally use it and i don't have to worry about um it stinking up the rest of my because i i have a ysl um card holder and then i have my small mini pochette and i didn't want that scent to attach to my other items because then eventually you know it gets attached to everything you wear and thankfully yeah uh, like i found a, <laughs> I found a cure <laughs> but yeah guys i hope you like this video and i hope you find it informative and then i'll um actually link this below i'll you know i'll put whichever website i'll put walmart or amazon whichever you guys you know what i'm not by the way i'm not sponsored i'm just you know wanted to help you guys out just because i know how difficult it was to find any resolution to the scent for my bag and um i hope this really does help you guys out and like i said i'll, I'll link it down below just in case you know you guys want to go go and buy it and try it out and see if it works out for you guys oh and then before i forget um in case anybody's wondering no it did not um do anything to my pochette as you guys can tell it's literally the same nothing no drops nothing no droplets no uh stain markings if you see anything white it's just uh lint from the cotton balls that i try to use with the vinegar but uh besides that literally nothing so i don't know if you guys can see that i don't know if my camera's picking it up nothing out there nothing here but like i said i was you know very adamant about spraying it really close so it didn't get anything on the outside but luckily, you know, I don't see, there's like no damages that were done from the spraying to the bag, thankfully. So in case I know you guys are going to be thinking like, oh crap, she didn't even mention if the inside was um, damaged when she sprayed it. It wasn't, guys. So, so yeah, guys, I hope that uh, really helps you guys out and helps you like it helped me. <laughs> and we can finally wear our bags, <laughs> not smell like crap. So thanks guys, have a nice day. Bye.